Okay, so now it's time to actually launch your native ad campaign. With the help of some of my friends, we're gonna jump inside the ad networks and show you step-by-step step how to go from no ad to having a live published ad in the network. All right, so here is how to set up a Taboola campaign. When you're logged in, go to campaigns on the left and then click campaign management here, and then click on new campaign. On the next page, you can name your campaign here. For this example, I'm going to name it Demo Campaign Test. And the branding text is where you will put the company's name. I'm going to use Ad Skills Courses URL as my demo ad page, so I'm going to label this as Ad Skills. Next, you can select a time frame. When you create a campaign in Taboola, it doesn't go live right away. The policy team has to review the content. So you can either choose to have the campaign launch as soon as it's reviewed and approved, or you can select specific start and end dates. Or you can mix it up and start it when it's approved and then end it at a specific date too. So down to campaign targeting, you can select specific countries. You can block countries or do run of network across all of the countries. For this example, I'm just going to choose United States. From there, you can dig down and choose different states and regions, but I'm not going to do that. Next, you can select the platform that you want if you want to run mobile, tablet, or desktop. And you can also drill down into the operating system, so you can always um, target specific like iPhone, Samsung, things like that. For this example, I'll just leave it as desktop traffic. So block publishers, once you have some um, conversion data, you can start to see, or even click data, you can start to see some publishers may not work out for you. For example, maybe some of the viral entertainment sites just don't convert. Here is where you can choose to block them from the campaign. For right now, I'm going to leave it as run of network. Next, you can select your bidding and your budget here. So for the cost per click, um, that really depends on how your ad, ads perform. So if you have a higher ad click-through rate, you can bid lower. Uh, I usually like to start someplace in the middle, so maybe $0.51 cents or $0.31. Cents, and then I watch it. Once the campaign launches, I'll take a look at some of the clicks and see how my click-through rates are and also see how quickly the campaign is spending. Because if you have your bids too high, you can spend your entire budget very quickly. Meanwhile, if you have them too low, you probably will only spend a couple bucks a day. And you won't spend a lot. So the next section is where you can fill out your spending limit. You can either choose um, to give it a monthly limit or the entire campaign. If you really don't want a limit, you can just type in a very high number here that you don't think you'll hit anyway. Uh, let's pretend I want to give this campaign a $1,000 limit. Next, your daily ad delivery. There's a few different options here. I like to go with the strict. It sets a very strict daily cap. So I'm going to select that and fill in, let's say, 200 bucks. Now, your actual spend is going to be higher than what your daily cap is. They estimate up to 25% higher. That's probably pretty accurate. Next, you can append different UTMs to, at the campaign level. So these will append them to your ad URLs so that you don't have to copy and paste them every single time you're entering your ad URL. So you can fill that out here or leave it as the default or delete it. Now comments, this is where I put comments for my Taboola rep. So maybe if my CPA goal for this campaign is 50 bucks, I'll put it here. I'll put, I wanna target top tier sites and I can say avoid entertainment viral sites. That just kind of lets Taboola know what I'm thinking. So I want to bring users in at a $50 CPA and I want to target specific sites. Next you click continue and you can review all of this after you click continue. So go ahead and check over all your information. If everything looks good you can submit the campaign. If you want to fix something you can go back. Okay, everything looks good, so I'm going to click Submit. Next, you're presented with the screen where you will um, set up your ads. 
So I'm going to just use the Add Skills Courses page as my demo example. And you would paste the URL as many times as you want to see ads. So if I want to run six ads, I'm going to paste this URL six different times, each on its own line, and then click Add. So once you do that, Taboola crawls your site and comes up with sample text and sample thumbnail images. You can, of course, change these. You just hover them, and then you'll see a little pencil, and you can click it here. So first thing I'm going to do is update my titles. And I have six ads here, so I'll probably test two images with three ad headlines. And I'm just going to make up some random headlines for this example. Okay, so I filled out all my headlines. The next thing I'm going to do is add my ad images. So hover over the thumbnail, click the pencil, and you can upload a file. The image size for Taboola is 400 by 300. Okay, so once you upload the image, Taboola actually hosts the image. So if you want to use it more than once, you can always go click one that's already uploaded, copy the URL, and then just paste the URL over the existing one. So again, I uploaded my second image. I'm going to copy the URL and then Place it with a few other ad headlines. So once you have everything set up the way that you want, if you want to edit something, you can hover it and click the pencil and update it. But once you have everything finished, you would click finish. So after you set up the campaign, it's in a pending status for a little while until someone on Taboola's policy team approves it, but you will see your campaign ID, your name, the status, your budget, and um, once it's approved by policy team, it'll say approved. So you can also pause the campaign here. You can edit the campaign settings and also update the ad inventory if you want. You can also clone uh, an existing campaign here too. Just for this example, I don't want this to really go live, so I'm gonna click pause, but that is it and you are done.